We're gonna go on a little bit of a winding adventure for this video, just humor me. I think it's funny that now that my channel has something like 50,000, 51,600 subscribers that probably a lot of you have no idea how this channel got started and I'll just kind of show you. This channel actually goes all the way back to 2014. I used to do a video game podcast called XP Earned with my wife, Jessie. It is lost to history. Eventually, I got burned out from that. I started experimenting with YouTube where I would just sort of post weird little videos, let's plays and things like that. Here's me playing Grand Theft Auto V. Eventually, I would start experimenting with sort of tech-related things, a little how-tos. This is an HP Stream 7. <laughs> tablet running Windows and the Minecraft Windows 10 beta. We tried running with the gaming thing and doing our podcast as a video. I was first experimenting with OBS, what I still use to film with there, and a Lenovo gaming laptop. I keep cutting to B-roll so you can't really see what's going on. Oh, how young we were, lo those years ago. And look, why am I talking about this? Because eventually, after all this experimentation, going in wrong directions, directions where I was not getting any views. I mean, look at this. I'm getting like 20 views, 127 views. And I was like, yes, 100 views. I was trying all this stuff, right? And it just wasn't working. I would every once in a while, I would have something that would pop off a little bit. But guys, it wasn't going well and it wasn't going to be a thing until, until something happened. I would continue playing with this YouTube channel, posting videos every few months here or there, all the way until the year 2020 when I posted this video. Every Surface Duo social media leak so far. What I did is I did the best research I could going through social media and finding every possible bit of information about Surface Duo that I could find. I was enamored with this weird little dual screen device. It wasn't out yet and I wanted to find out as much as I possibly could. Look how deep I'm digging. I'm finding photos of it in the wild on Instagram, on Twitter and things like that. And that video got a thousand views and it got actually a lot of comments and people seemed to really like it. And then I made this video. Surface Duo isn't dead on arrival. And you can argue with me whether or not I was right about that. There's definitions of words you have to get into there. But I put forth my opinion on this and it got the most views that I had ever gotten in that short amount of time. Boy, look at those frames. Those were way too big for my face. What was I thinking? I put out that video and it all clicked for me. And I realized that truly, truly gaming was not really my passion anymore. It was tech. It was weird phones. It was interesting things like that. And I went full bore 100 miles an hour into that world. And because of that, that is why I'm here doing today what I do, talking about tech for a living. If it wasn't for Surface Duo, I would not be doing this. That is absolutely true. The reason I bring this up is because today, right now, the final, what should be the final update for Microsoft's Surface Duo 2 is officially rolling out. The October 2024 update is here. And with that update, Microsoft has provided all of the updates that they told us they would provide. If we go to the update history, we can find the first one was October of 2021. Three long years later, October of 2024, they've not actually posted it yet, but it is live. I've installed it. It's here. And Surface Duo 2 is well and truly done. Now, of course, you're still going to get things like Google Play service updates. You're still going to get individual app updates, but I don't think you're ever going to get another update for the system software on this device, which is now basically stranded on Android 12. Not only did they not get 14, they didn't get 13. We are stuck on Android 12 with this device. They did continue delivering security updates. That's what the last, like, probably like eight or 10 updates have been. They've just been nothing but security patches. Unfortunately, we are done even with those security patches. So I just kind of wanted to briefly take a moment and just think about Surface Duo again because it is such a meaningful device in my life because it is what inspired me to pursue this tech channel that I would eventually 
literally quit my job to pursue, and now a couple of years on, it has been my full-time job for a while. So this device, the I guess the predecessor to this device, but this is sort of the, you know, it's the sequel and it's the last one. So it's also very important. It's a very important device to me. So I'm going to look at it maybe one last time. So guys, like I said, maybe one last time. This is my Surface Duo 2. We are rocking a skin from Sobe Guard, which is a like a faux leather skin. I've had it on here for a long time, and it's actually held up like tremendously well. We also do have the bumpers that uh, came with the... Actually, did these bumpers come with Duo 2? Did we have to buy those separate? I think we might have had to buy those separately. And this is the second set because the first set started to kind of peel and I found a, another set at Best Buy on clearance. So I grabbed it and I replaced it at some point. So uh, it still looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. The camera bump is still fairly large. It has kind of scratched up over the years just a little bit, but nothing too significant. I feel like it still is, you know, it's held up pretty well. It's got a case on it, but this is my Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and I think, you know, one of the most impressive things about this Surface Duo is that when they're closed, it is ever so slightly thinner than this brand new Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Now, when they're opened, it, I believe the Pixel is slightly, slightly thinner. I may be wrong about that, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit thinner. The case makes it not really look like that is necessarily what's happening. But nonetheless, this is a like crazy thin device still all these years later. Like what they managed to accomplish with this thing in terms of the hardware is still really, really impressive. And of course, just looking at it, you can see why this thing is so different, so unique. It has two individual screens. So many of you watching this have probably never interacted with one of these things at all. Maybe you have no idea why that is something that you might want. Well, think about it like this. It is a dual monitor setup in your pocket. So when I launch an application over here on this screen, it only launches it over here on this screen. This screen stays open. I have access to all of my launcher pages. I have access to my app drawer. I can do whatever I want. I can go ahead and launch another application like Feedly, check in on the news while I'm over here watching a video. I can throw this app over to that side, open up this other app. There's so much about Surface Duo, speak of the devil. There's so much about it that just works so well, obviously full screening something like this with the hinge down the middle doesn't necessarily work super well, but this sort of like workflow of having two different applications open one on each screen is just still so good. And you know, I remember so often I would just sort of hold it like this and I would use this one screen and leave the other screen just sort of vacant over there because occasionally I would be doing something and I would just kind of throw the app over there and then do something else. And then when I was done, I could bring this app back over. It kept me from like losing my place. And that is just such a different workflow compared to any other device. And then of course, you could fold it all the way around and use it like a normal phone. Granted, a normal phone that happens to be like ridiculously wide. It is a very strange aspect ratio compared to any other phone in existence but i got used to it right like i got used to this weird like super wide like almost like square screen that you have here and it became something that i just really enjoyed using it absolutely has its quirks though right like if you want to use the camera you have to have it open because otherwise the camera is going to be covered up and the stock camera app kind of cool because you could take a picture on the one screen and then it would immediately appear here on the other screen. That's kind of a cool idea. But a lot of us did end up using Gcam ports that would actually have a little bit better quality in terms of the image that it produces. And with the Gcam port, I feel like the camera actually did a lot better than a lot of people maybe realized it was capable of. Granted, it's still not going to really compete with any of these modern foldables when it comes to the camera performance, but we got by, right? Like we, we tried these Gcam ports and we did what we needed to do and we made it work. We made the best of it. And you probably think I'm crazy, but like there's something about that feeling of community that kind of crops up around a weird device like this that isn't perfect, a weird device that has problems that the community kind of has to solve that is just hard to replace. It felt like every few days, someone on Twitter, someone in the Reddit, someone in my comments was doing something weird and novel and strange with their Surface Duo that was worth talking about. And guys, I desperately miss those days.
for as long as I can remember, I've been the kind of person that will gravitate towards an imperfect device that does something novel, that takes a leap of faith, that needs some tweaking done, that needs a little bit of extra work from the user to get the most out of it. I find that engaging and Surface Duo might be the best example of exactly that that has ever been released in the Android world. It was exciting. It was frustrating, but it was novel and it was a little bit buggy. But man, did we have fun with this phone. So guys, to the device that really did enable me to build this YouTube channel, it is finally time to say goodbye. Surface Duo is done. Hit those comments down below and give me some of your favorite Surface Duo memories. Was it when Android 11 finally was released? Was it when Android 12 was finally released? Was it the black screen glitch that plagued us for all those many months? Let me know down below what really stands out to you about this device. Maybe you're still using it. Is it gathering dust in a drawer? Again, hit those comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.